Since its introduction in 1955 by Robinson and Smith, anterior cervical decompression infusion has been a reliable strategy for the management of a variety of cervical pathologies. This procedure involves an anterior decompression of the disc space followed by interbody grafting and fusion. Indications for ACDF include cervical radiculopathy, as in this case of a soft disc herniation causing compression of the exiting root. Myelopathy, as in this patient who has not only congenital stenosis, but also spondylosis and a broad annular bulge causing severe compression of the spinal cord and the exiting nerve roots. Cervical trauma, as in this case of a patient with a fracture subluxation of the cervical spine at C5, C6. Cervical deformity is also an indication for ACDF. This is a patient with myeloradiculopathy and kyphosis who underwent treatment and deformity correction through an all anterior approach. However, in cases of more severe deformity, like this post-laminectomy kyphosis, ACDF may need to be supplemented with posterior fixation in order to optimize deformity correction and stabilization. Cervical infections can also be treated by ACDF. This is a patient with C4-5 discitis and a very large soft tissue component. If, however, the CT scan demonstrates significant vertebral body involvement, then a corpectomy will be necessary instead of just an ACDF. Likewise, most tumors, because they will involve the vertebral body, generally require corpectomy for treatment. This is a patient with myeloma who had severe vertebral body involvement and myelopathy who underwent an anterior corpectomy infusion. Benefits of fusion include maintenance of cervical alignment, correction or prevention of kyphosis, and indirect foraminal decompression in addition to whatever direct decompression has been performed by increasing foraminal height and dimensions stabilization of painful spondylosis, and importantly, prevention of recurrent same-segment disease. Spondylosis will not progress in an area that has been solidly fused. Cervical disc arthroplasty is an anterior alternative to ACDF with excellent reported outcomes in several randomized trials. Reported benefits include preserved range of motion and the potential for less adjacent segment wear although long-term studies are still needed to define how arthroplasty compares to ACDF and in particular what patient population it fares best.